Hello and welcome back to the Let's Play of On the Ball. If you might have noticed, I have skipped a course. The reason why? Tonosama is such an easy course that I don't feel like boring you with it all. Instead, I have re-recorded a run up to this point simply because uh, I needed to have all three, conti three continues going into this beast. But now, it's Miro versus Moai. Who will win? Who will come out victorious? Uh, I'm not doing too bad right now. Gotta say one thing, this lap last map puts the rest of them to shame. So long, so intricate. You get your hopes up, but then they're dashed by one trap at the end of the level. But so far... Doing a good job. I'm dodging all their. all the choke points. I missed that five, but I can still keep going. Just gotta. take advantage of those threes later on. Because there will be threes. Don't get me wrong. There will be threes. Or. wait! I'm at the trap. The trap! I have no other name for it because it's just that evil. Now, into new territory. Let's get some time back. Okay. All right. Calm down. Just a little bit further. Just a little bit further. Yes. Take that, Moai. Take that. Do I even need to say it? Now you have reached the final game! Wait, do I know you two guys? Wait a minute. What's going on here? What's going on here? Wait a minute. Are you serious? What's going on? I'm back to the title screen again! Ah, uh, what a shame. Okay! In that case, please pause for a few moments while I tap on some bonus footage. Now, with the power of Notepad, I bring you some special content! You guys ever get sick of that of looking at that ball for however long you're going to play this game? Fear not! For this next this next cheat will fix that. Because now the ball comes in bub flavor. Space Invader flavor. That robot from uh, Bubble Bobble flavor. Whatever that is flavor. And this doll flavor. Me, I'm quite uh, akin to the Space Invader flavor. So let's go try that out. Let's put it to it, the test on... The beginner course of the final plane. Watch as our little alien flops about as we twist and we turn and we do everything else that this game typically requires us to do. Does it improve your game at all? Ah, uh, that's up to you. But personally, this, I find this rather amusing. But enough of that. One other thing, if you want to increase the challenge of the game, bring up this password. Zil Zilgepidge. Zilgepidge, Zilgepidge, Zilgepidge. What does Zilgepidge do? Zilgepidge brings you to this neat little feature. You see? These are all the planets in our solar system. Excluding Pluto. This came out while Pluto still existed. Apparently. At any rate, messing around with this will affect the, the multiplayer of gravity, which affects your ball. As of right now, it's set to Earth. However, if you really wanted to be have, have a challenge, you might want to try Sun difficulty. Bear in mind, I've tested this. 
many um, any of the courses from the second plane onward, you can't complete them because you because of the limited turning rate, limited turning, you can't beat it. So I'm going to experiment with Pluto. I wonder what this is going to be like. Let's test it out on the expert course. Let's adventure to Pluto. Oh, what's this? I'm falling, but I'm falling really slowly. I'm whoa. Gotta watch the bouncing. Bouncing will get me a lot of momentum, which I can't control. Yes. I don't know how I'm gonna get around this. Aha! Wait, wait, wait. Aha. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna finish at this rate. Maybe all the later courses are best recommended at normal Earth gravity. Or if you want the challenge, yeah, try this, but I just wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. For all of you who want to go back and play your favorite level, try this cheat. Just going to make sure I enter it in properly this time. Da -da -da. QWP? Uh, Q Whoa. QWNQP. Whoops. Yeah, QWNQP. You see, this is the reason why I have this notepad open next to me. Or else this would be easily messed up. Behold! The level select! You can play any of the 99 courses in the game. Yes, there are really that many maps. Let's try number 38. Any of you remember this map? It's... The Jumbo Maze! Anyway, go back and play your, any of your favorite courses at any given time. With that cheat. What if you're a music fan? If you like the game's tunes, feel free to check out this cheat. Let's gotta center it on this. This R. Yes, like this. This password to entry screen is probably harder than the actual game. Or, eh, most likely not. But anyways, sound test! <laughs> yes, this game in all of its 80s s glory. Enjoy! Also, you can change the stereo here. Yeah, that's an extra bonus. Finally getting both speakers to work. But anyways, I have one last little thing to, thing to show you. This is the closest thing I can get to an actual credit screen. With this final cheat, I end this LP of On the Ball. It's been a nice ride, folks. One which I thought would have ended a long time ago. But there was a lot more game to this. A lot more game. Apparently, I've forgotten to play these first couple. But oh well. Either way, hope you've enjoyed the Let's Play of On the Ball, and hopefully we will see some scores soon. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, these are the final... These are all the times I've gotten on the last set of courses. How did I do on that last one? Took me nearly two minutes to beat the last battle. But until next time, folks, I'll play another game. Uh, maybe something that has uh, hmm, detectives and ghosts and stuff. Until then, I'm so dizzy.